I'm obsessed with fall. I think fall is the best season. Maybe I'm biased because I was classified as an autumn color palette, but I mean, honestly, even before that, fall has always been my favorite season. Fall is when my style comes to life. I think in terms of outfits, fall is just superior in general, right? We all know that leopard print and cowboy boots are all the rage, as the old people would say. Uh, but I'm, I'm not here to tell you about leopard print and cowboy boots, because personally, that's not my general aesthetic. But what I'm here to talk to you about is my style predictions, right? So we're gonna talk about colors, we're gonna talk about materials, we're gonna talk about silhouettes, we're gonna talk about aesthetics, and we're gonna talk about vibes for fall 2024. So guys, sit back, relax, and just enjoy the vibes of fall, because the vibes of fall are elite tier. Now, let's start with colors. I think, for me at least, fall is all about those kind of cozy, high saturation, like, nice colors, you know, those that you look at and you feel like, <sighs> it's just a pleasant experience watching them. They're just giving a mood and a half. We're talking about espresso brown, we're talking about Bordeaux red, we're talking about sapphire blue and emerald green, we're talking about those decadent grays. Now you're like, Amanda, what, what the fuck is a decadent? A decadent gray, <laughs> thank you for asking. A decadent gray, I think it's not like a gray that I'm wearing currently. I think this type of gray is also cute for fall, but I think a decadent gray for fall. If you know my Max Mara coat, so that is a decadent gray. If you know my favorite boots, from the prior winter season. These, I think, are decadent gray, like a darker type of gray that's giving, you know, higher saturation gray that has a little bit of a warmer undertone. This is a decadent gray. <laughs> Have I lost it? Maybe. <laughs> This is also a decadent gray. This is gonna be my last example before we move on. A decadent gray is something like this, right? It's just one of those, like, like I said, darker, deeper, kind of softer looking grays that they just pair fabulously with something like a cherry red. Do you see the vibe? Just for eye candy, I brought out some handbags to show you the vibes of the colors that we're talking about. To start off with a bag that I've stolen from my mom. <laughs> or not really stolen, but it ended up here for some brilliant reason. Oh my gosh, obsessed. Do you see this, like, emerald green? An emerald green for fall is amazing. An emerald green for fall is just uh, a mood and a half. It's what I want to douse myself in, in terms of colors and something like this. This is a Bulgari, I think it's called a Diva Stream handbag. In this green with this gorgeous gold hardware, it's just... It is just simply a mood and a half. I think this bag is just, it's just a gorgeous piece of, of bag, honestly. I think Bulgari just makes brilliant bags. I'm also wearing an emerald green ring. Obsessed. I think emerald green is just fall in a color. My obsession, this is my Cartier little Bordeaux colored bag. This bag is just everything. I've worn it so much this summer. I'm looking forward to wearing it so much this fall too. I think if you don't have a vintage Cartier bag, what are you doing? They're amazing. They're fabulous. They are very reasonably priced for leather bags from like top tier designer brands. This one is from the 90s. We all know how I feel about vintage things. This was one of the bags that I have worn the most, which I talked about in a recent favorites video, all right? So th this is just stunning, gorgeous. I, I don't have any other descriptive words for you at the moment. Espresso brown. Espresso brown is amazing. We all know how I feel about this. Espresso brown Hermes Evelyn. <laughs> this is the size GM, so it's huge. It fits everything you want to fit in here. It's just like a huge squishy like soft bag that you can just hug if you need a hug like it will hug you back it's fine the world will have peace one day that's how i feel when i wear this bag or at least it gives me hope this bag is just amazing i adore the silver hardware because the silver hardware or the palladium hardware excuse me 
it gives me the vibes of wearing the dark brown bag with the decadent gray do you see the vibes they're they're just seeping into the video at the moment are you feeling as excited about fall as i am or am i just the the only one that's delulu <laughs> no we're not delulu we're just we're just a little bit ahead of ourselves but that's that's fine sapphire blue sapphire blue is a mood and a half. I think this type of blue, navy blue, we can call it as well, but sapphire blue feels a little bit more octane. It feels oomph. It feels a little bit better. This color is something that it transcends seasons fabulously. I think something like this you can always wear, but especially in fall, it's a mood, right? Does that make sense? This bag is just a little... Luciano Soprani bag that I bought in Italy and it's just, it's just a leather bag that it's not like a particular brand but it's giving vibes. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> okay materials. Materials. I am looking for everything that's soft and squishy. I'm looking for stuff that will feel like a hug. I'm looking for cashmere. I'm looking for suede. I'm looking for a soft, squishy leather. We're looking for a silk that's just like, you know, it's just feeling soft and chic and comfortable. This is a little cashmere sweater. I mean, just if, if it's too warm to wear the cashmere sweater, just drape it over your shoulders. Maybe not a double drape like I'm doing now. It's giving a little bit, you know, Tommy Hilfiger double popped collar in college and I'm not here. Uh, is this a vibe? Maybe this is a vibe. OMG trendsetter. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm cringing internally. But this, just, just a soft cashmere sweater. This one in specific is from Brunello Cucinelli. It's one of those that I will have forever. The cashmere quality is fabulous. It's it's just chic. I'm obsessed with this kind of lilac-y taupe color. And obviously it's a turtleneck and you know how I feel about turtlenecks. Like in the cold weather seasons, all I want to do is to cover my neck and feel soft and toasty warm. Can anyone relate? <laughs> This one is from FTC Cashmere. This one is equally fabulous. It's a decadent gray color, as we have already discussed. It's one of those, right? I mean, I think if you're looking for an easy outfit that's a sleigh 100% of the time, yes, it's a sleigh. You heard what I said. Then go look for like a cashmere little, you know, sweater dress. You can just, if you want to be a millennial like me, you just put a belt around your waist. You put on a cute pair of boots and you just go your merry way. And obviously a pair of stockings as well so that you don't freeze your little legs off in the cold weather. Suede, 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 suede. I uh, already showed you these suede boots, obsessed. I want a suede handbag. Isn't it shocking that I don't own a suede handbag? I, th I think that's kind of off brand. Don't you think so? I do, however, have these suede boots. These suede boots, my grandma wore. These are my grandma's boots. I have gotten them though. And I recently switched out the little, you know, the little sole so that they can do well in the cold weather, right? These are boots that are so old they they do look kind of new now that i have the soles changed which is a key tip on how to take care of your boots like if you want to make them last make sure that you do watch the soles carefully so that you don't start biting into the like wooden part up here but that you have the rubber sole protecting your boot especially when it comes to suede because suede once it's worn out, it's worn out and you can't really do much about it, sadly. So take care of your suede boots. Do protect them with a little bit of spray as well because I know suede and fall, at least here in Sweden, we do have quite a lot of rain, but protecting them with not only once per season, but a couple of times per season, you spray them down a little bit with that kind of suede protectant spray, you're golden. You can wear your cozy looking suede soft cozy, amazing, stunning, brilliant boots. Obsessed. I've been trying on a bunch of outfits, just listening, like blasting music. For some reason, I'm into country music at the moment because it's giving me fall vibes. If you're on Spotify, the hot country playlist, that's what I'm listening to. Trying on my fall outfits, these boots are giving me 
country fall vibes, if you get what I'm saying. I'm obsessed with these boots. And I think suede is here to stay. Suede is one of those materials that just looking at it gives me a cozy fall feeling. It gives me pumpkin spice latte vibes. It gives me rainy and cold afternoons in the coffee shop sipping a little sweet drink. And is that not what we all want to do? Like in, in, in all honesty, no? <laughs> Or if you're not into pumpkin spice lattes, maybe you're sipping a little matcha latte or a little red wine glass or something. Maybe a little Negroni. Beggars can't be choosers, but I mean, all of those are good options if you ask me. Okay, silhouettes. Silhouettes. In fall, anything goes. Whatever you want to wear, whatever you feel cozy and comfortable in is what you should wear for fall. I think fall is the season where you can just express whatever your little heart desires in terms of styles of garments, right? In summer, all we want to do is just not be sweating. But in fall, you can just layer everything and wear all the silhouettes and just be cute in general, no? <laughs> but what I am particularly looking forward to wearing when it comes to silhouettes is playing with proportions and layers. Groundbreaking for fall. Hear me out. A mini skirt a huge sweater, an oversized blazer, a little bit of a streamlined boot, or just quite the opposite, like a huge oversized boot, like whatever. Like something that feels mini and something that feels maxi, I feel like it's a good vibe. Right, think about it. You have a slimlined cashmere turtleneck, for example, because we all know how I feel about a cashmere turtleneck. They're all I want to wear in fall and winter. You pair that with kind of like a loose oversized slack. You put a little cute belt in the middle. You tuck it in because I am a millennial, so that's what I will do. You pair a little kind of boat shoe or loafer or, I mean, if it's actually cold, you wear like a boot that will keep your little feet warm. Maybe a little crop the blazer over that and then your trench coat and oh my gosh, fabulous. Maybe a like oversized bag also to balance like the slimmer fitting upper half with a bigger bottom half, if, if you get what I'm saying. So a big bag energy vibe. Something in terms of big bag energy that I'm so excited to wear is this. Now this is not huge. This is not big bag energy in terms of like the super trendy, like massive, like it's, it's not giving Saint Laurent Ikare bag vibes, but it's giving like big slouchy bag that's here to do business and that's here to follow along on your adventures. And she's just happy doing it, you know? This is my mom, so once again, thank you mom for just leaving it here. Um, this one is a mulberry little, I guess kind of speedy Louis Vuitton shaped bag, right? But like I said, from Mulberry in their classic like khaki or like forest type green color. This color combo is also giving fall. This bag, I think it's just, it's giving soccer mom in the best way. I think this is just brilliant. This is great. And it's giving like that big bag energy that I was thinking with that outfit that I was explaining, right? Also when projecting a little bit further into the future, wool coats. I'm so excited to wear wool coats. I was in this fabulous little shop the other day. I tried on a Max Mara coat. It was in this, it was, I don't have anything in that exact color, but if you think dark brown, whoa, oh my gosh, the Cartier fell to the floor. But if you're thinking chocolate brown, but then also envisioning a little bit of plum undertones put into that, it was like one of those like to the floor wrap coats from Max Mara in that fabulous color and 100% wool. I'm still thinking about it, but it's taking all of my willpower not to go back and buy it. I don't need another coat. I have a gorgeous coat collection, which I keep telling myself, Amanda, stop, drop, do not buy another Max Mara coat. But it's it's gorgeous. If you have a coat and that kind of color, do wear it for fall and winter. You will be the most stylish girly ever and I will applaud you. I will uh, admire you from afar. Literally, I'm obsessed with that kind of wrap coat and that like soft, cozy material. Oh my gosh, obsessed. 
Okay, so in terms of aesthetics, right, where I'm at currently, right, not currently as in like right now, but currently, right, as we're in summer, right now I'm wearing all the nautical vibes. We're wearing a clear red, we're wearing a navy blue, we're wearing a crisp white, but what I'm envisioning, right, we're transitioning this, obviously keeping the navy blue, because navy blue is an all year round color that you can never go wrong with but we're exchanging the bright red for a little bit of a Bordeaux red. We're exchanging the bright white for that dark brown or like a beige tone, just making it a little bit more cozy. If you don't have stuff in Bordeaux red and you bought into the like clear red trend, keep wearing your clear red things, right? We're not here to buy a completely new wardrobe. I think the key message here is that we're just channeling the vibes of fall. <laughs> I am delusional, clearly. And we're bringing in the items that we already have, that we already know and love. Clearly, I'm showing you all of the items that I have right now. We're not trying to buy a bunch of new things, right? We're just buying into the cozy vibes of fall. Maybe if we don't have a bunch of camel colored things, take a kind of white, maybe think like a creamy type white. Something that I'm super excited to wear. This is for full disclosure, something that has been gifted to me. This is a little lily silk tie neck top. I think it's one of those that transcends seasons super well because essentially you have that neck tie. You can wear it with a little black linen short. You can wear this with a wool skirt. You can wear this with, I don't know, a little slack. You can wear it like however. This is one of those it's not a clear white, it's like a little bit of a creamy white that I think also transcends seasons super well. So if you wanna get stuff that transcends seasons, don't get the crispest white, right? Get something that's a little bit in between that you can wear and feel comfortable in both in summer and fall and winter and spring and whatever, right? Something that's a little bit more muted in my experience usually transcends seasons a little bit better than something that's like super bright, at least for my personal aesthetic. But what I meant to say, right, what we're transitioning from, I'm transitioning from those bright white, navy blue, clear red type nautical vibes back to my safe place, which is the luxurious equestrian cafe style narrative that I built for myself. This is a style narrative that's built upon soft, cozy vibes. It's all of the deep, dark kind of colors. It's giving mahogany, it's giving teak, it's giving like Bordeaux velvet, like armchairs. It's giving espresso brown. It's giving like an emerald green sparkly ring. It's giving like cozy deep, dark, mysterious vibes, but we're also giving preppy through the equestrian kind of adder to it all. This is my luxurious equestrian cafe. This is my aesthetic in the cold weather seasons. That is the vibe for me personally. I am, uh, like I grew up in the equestrian world. I had horses. I adore an equestrian vibe. And I think in terms of aesthetics, an equestrian vibe for fall, it's timeless, it's brilliant, it's stunning. Finally, the vibes. The vibes for fall 2024. This is subjective. The vibes that I'm feeling for fall 2024, I have a painting right there that's giving me the vibes that I want to emulate. I will pop in a photo right here but it's right in front of me. So I'm, I'm staring at it at this current point in time and it's just giving fall. We're envisioning like a cold afternoon, we're envisioning that we're just wearing a cozy outfit full of like cashmere. It's just feeling comfortable. Fall is a comfortable season to me. We're going out for a little cozy afternoon after work. We're arm in arm with our best friend. We're just having the most wholesome gossip session. We're going out for a little uh, pumpkin spice latte or whatever is your favorite, maybe a mulled wine. We're wearing everything that's cashmere soft and comfortable. For example, this blazer that I thrifted last year, my Brunello Cuccinelli cashmere and wool blazer. On top of it, we're probably also either wearing, depending on how cold it is in your climate, we're either wearing something like a Max Mara, like wool coat or possibly something like this. This is also something that I thrifted last year. This is my Burberry Bordeaux 
trench coats. So this is giving cute, cozy fall afternoon to me. We're just walking through the old town. We're just kind of feeling the freshness in the air. We're just feeling cozy, cute, and comfortable. Fall is a soft season in terms of vibes for me. Fall is just everything. Fall is, fall is life, right? <laughs> But aren't we all just craving like one of those wholesome kind of slow fall afternoons the colors i'm seeing are green it's espresso brown it's orange it's cream it's just all of those cozy colors right orange is not really a color that i wear that much but i think like an orange and brown like an orange and a dark brown is such a chic color combination if i could wear orange i would wear that color combination or like an orange and a cream and also a brown because three colors in an outfit are just elite. I think that is so cute. Do you feel the vibes that I'm trying to portray through my little image in my mind? I hope so. Now I feel a little bit more ready for fall. I'm so excited to just start wearing all of these cute, cozy, comfortable items of clothing, honestly. For fall 2024, we try to wear what we already have, right? I'm sure you bought a bunch of cute, cozy things last fall that you could very well wear this year instead of trying to buy into the new cool trends for fall 2024. If you did not want to wear cowboy boots before you saw them on all the cool girlies, maybe don't wear them. The same goes for leopard print and the same goes for whatever trend people are talking about. I think the key to finding your style is just to wear what you already have and spend some time just jamming with some music, trying on the things that you have in your wardrobe and getting excited for the upcoming season without just mindlessly scrolling and purchasing items from someone's TikTok shop. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you're looking forward to fall fashion as much Bop. <laughs> too excited as much as i am i uh, might have some little fall outfits videos planned for you maybe i should do like a week of outfits would that be cool maybe but thank you once again so much for rambling with me about fall what are you excited to wear this fall what are your fall vibes tell me all about it in the comments please if you've not had enough of me just yet then i'll link another video right here in case you've not already seen it if you're here for the fall vibes don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for all the fall content upcoming to your screens i will see you back here next sunday at 3 p.m swedish time and until then stay safe take care and I will see you soon. Ciao.